so this is another card box i've made i've got my own um and i got the box from the range this was a box i already had it's got a lid so um these are all the cards i've made so i've got sections of female cards and i don't know if i've actually shared all these but i made some beautiful cards and i really enjoyed making them with these flowers on um i've got that one and that one a lot of them are sort of um a blank except for birthdays and things like that so that's females and then i've got males in there male cards i find really difficult to actually make um but i've got some in here and i think i've actually um shared those um i've got kids which is a lot of those that i made from that set i've got and the easter ones is there then i've got miscellaneous here um which could do for a variety of different things plus like a get well card so i can make more cards and um so she can um, replenish her box then i've got blank at the back here these are ones that can be used for any occasion um not particularly for um, for anything just like just for you and things like that so that um you know if she wants to drop a um a note or something to somebody or whatever or just a ho a low card and things like that she's got that so that's got a lid so that is a card box and basically using everything i'd got i'd already got the box so that worked out really good so i'm really pleased how that turned out so with this one, it just shows you what you can put together to corral your um, different occasion cards and things like that. Um, I did another wrapping stay um, sort of session that's got that big um, like snuggle in for Daniel in the bag. I said I've used um, his all his gifts. I've actually wrapped up in the sort of. Um, superhero paper with red ribbons and um, tags and things like that just so it's all sort of together this is the sort of thing I like this is like parcel paper um, I've used some um, sort of um, hessian ribbon there some baker's twine homemade tags and those wooden sort of um, reindeer that i got three for i think it was one pound yeah i'm sure it was a pound from the charity shop so i really enjoy doing things like this i do like using parcel paper and here we've got um a couple of um gifts i've received from anne from chatty batty i am going to open them and i'll share what i've got inside them because it's always nice to see what is received through the post so i have received today some friend mail from anne from chatty batty I've taken them out of the um, wrapping paper and I've definitely, I'm sure she don't mind, there. my mind was going on different things I want to do. I want to take off the tags um, and reuse that part of it. I'd like to reuse this part and some of the wrapping like this make nice, um, either, um, something to go on a card or um, gift tags um, for next year, like the snowman with a penguin. There's still quite a lot of pieces to the wrapping paper that could be um, pulled out of besides these tags. So I'll definitely be using those for something. Um, I received a card from her it was in a pouch which i'll show you in a minute so this is the card get it the right way around with this doily this tartan ribbon got this burgundy ribbon and a thing and merry christmas so that is really gorgeous i like the rustic look as she knows i do um, she sent me this pouch. This is what the card was in to protect it. Um, obviously, with a D on. 
I love these sort of things and I do use them for also mini projects as well and it's got the pink um, sort of pom-pom I think this may have come from B&M because I'm sure I've seen this one or something very similar. So she does know that I like my storage and my little pouches and everything. So I've got that. And then she has made like a pocket letter. Um, I will have to have a word with her because there's certain aspects. And my mind was going when I opened it. Um, pieces I want to use like the tartan ribbons and everything and these little mini baubles I'd love to put on a reef along with these um, tartan um, ribbon probably now maybe for next year and then in each of the pockets she's put um, these foam stickers again everything can be reused all these sort of um, come out and then what has happened is on the other side is each one has got like a silver snowflake that actually comes out of the pocket like so and it's got the gem on as well. I'm going to try and not handle it too much because I'm on my bed in case the glitter comes off but I love all these. As I said, I hopefully she won't mind if I reuse all these pieces. She knows me and she's also a crafter and likes to use um, things, whether it's packaging or, you know, like I said, it, you get your mind going what pieces you can use. So that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, I want to be able to put all these um, on a wreath. I'd love to do that. Um and the bells and everything so i really am pleased um with what she's sent me um i've actually sent her a little something although i'm worrying now that she's not going to get it in time for christmas but there you are at least it'll be something that she can actually um you know open after christmas okay so in this part of the video it's just a few last minute um pieces that i'm dealing with and probably add them on you might realize this video is over a few days in between i've been out with um, a friend and um, meeting up with a couple of relatives we did our visiting last weekend um just a few general bits so now um obviously all my christmas cards went out at a reasonable time thank goodness um, but I've made these couple of birthday cards. I don't think I've included these. Um, I'm really pleased with these. Um, I must admit, I did forget to write them and take them when we went to Bedford. But there you go. So I've got this one because my uncle's birthday is over, you know, just after Christmas. So this is this one. And um, he's into rugby. He is not in the best of health, admittedly. Um, it's to a special uncle and um, I'm really pleased with this. It's I find it very difficult to do mail cards. And then inside um, the strip of paper that was left over from this bit, I've put just inside with that bit, which is obviously um, a bit of that um, embellishment. Really pleased with that. He is into rugby. He did go to rugby, although he struggled health-wise. So that's that one. And then it's my aunt's birthday as well, beginning of January. So I've got this one here. I've made this one up. So I've got Make-A-Wish, done it in my favourite colours, lilac, with the flowers. And then it's got to a lovely auntie, happy birthday. And then I put these gems in um, the corners. And then I just finished it off with a little bit of the stripy paper. So that's that one. I'm just about to, because um, I'm meeting up with um, a relation sort of halfway. Um, I have got a few little bits of shopping to do. But I might have to go to um, this shop um, early. And then I might have to come back home, then walk it back up. Bought two DVDs I got from Amazon and this bit might come up in 
a second video because I've got a lot of DVDs from Amazon um, for, you know, birthdays and Christmas and everything. And it's quite easy for these sort of things to also go through the post. So I've got the Black Widow. Um, I'm not sure of the price of that one. I did get that one um, some time ago. But I think we've got two copies of Dungeons and Dragons, actually. We've got it on DVD, which is going to Relative. And I've got it for Christmas, actually, on Blu-ray with Chris Pine. So I'm just about to wrap those up. I think I've got everything here or near enough except for my tags. I did make tags, actually, out of the wrapping paper from um, Anne because obviously this is all going in the same video um, but yeah I know things um, that I haven't filmed um, sort of delayed because I've got my granddaughter's Christmas Eve box and I've also got um, her stocking which I know in the video um, let me just see do I need this is the thing I like to do. I like to measure up so I don't waste wrapping paper. I love this wrapping paper. I've had it a fair few years because I've bought a lot. Let me just see if this will fold over. I do not like wasting paper. It might just get a squeeze. I don't think that one's going to go because it might be uneven. Yeah, it's not going to quite go, I don't think. So, and I don't think they'll both go that way. No, I like to check. But what I know um, some videos, I haven't really gone into it or watched it. They do actually um, wrap things sort of on the um, corner. Because I think that way you don't actually... Um, use so much wrapping paper, but there you go. So let me just do it like this. So what I tend to do is, because I know it, people might think, oh, wrap it completely up. But because I'm still thinking of wrapping pieces up for the stockings, not might just be um, my granddaughter's stocking that I might wrap things up. I will see what time I've got. So any little scraps, I do not like to waste too much paper. So I'm going to cut it here. I hope everything is doing okay. Um, if you're following my channel or, you know, have visited my channel and things like that, you know um, what's been going on in my life through this year. And yes, I am finding it this month especially as it gets closer to Christmas it is a struggle um I've kept going and I've just lost the end of my tape and I'm going to have that folded over um I would have normally put more thought into my wrapping I've done some I've done it gradually as and when as it's come in my videos but um normally I will add candy case and all sorts on. Um, I did struggle. Admittedly, um, got my, I don't know if you can hear me, my stomach's wrong, but I'm going to have to have something to eat before I leave to go shopping. I'm just waiting for it to get light, which it's just getting light now because I didn't want to walk in the dark. Um, we watched our first Christmas movie yesterday and that was because I had my granddaughter here. Um, haven't watched a Christmas movie, which is unusual for me. Um, but my granddaughter wanted to see, is it Christmas Chronicles? I think it is, with Kurt Russell in. So we ended up watching through the day one and two. We did painting. Um, what else did we do? We did um, quite a few different things. We played a couple of games and that. We didn't do jigsaws. Um, Actually, the time went really quick. I had it for the whole day while her parents um, did shopping. And they said, we went to two or three different like um, supermarkets and it took them all day to do their shopping because they said at the time they, well, they dropped off at nine o'clock, but um, it was hectic, they said. So that's that one. 
I've got another. See, what I do is any cuts, off cuts, I wrap them around the wrapping paper. And very often I will put a um, pipe clean to keep it um, together. So let's see if this one, if there's enough. Oh, yeah, there's just enough. Look, this is why I like to keep the scraps. And then, like I said, I just roll it around there. Um, it might come up, I don't know if it's in this video or another one, um, sort of bit of a pickle pickety. I haven't been running off my list, so I don't forget anything or anybody. I think I'm going to say about there. I do not want to do anything on Christmas Eve if I can help it. I have, I am going to do a buffet, but if you see um, just a shot um, of the food I got from Iceland um, delivery. Next door I had Asta, which I didn't actually include, but I've got a lot of um, stuff that I can just open because we are going to the creme. Um, there's a few of us going. I thought it was just going to be me and Daniel. Um, but talking about Daniel, he has now been signed off from the surgery, which I think I've done well for work. But on the Saturday, we went visiting in Lincolnshire on the Friday to go and see um, Puppy's family. And um, he's, he had a twinge in his back on the Saturday. Um, and then we, we went to Bedford on the Sunday. And then he had difficulty getting out of bed on the Monday, so he had to get an emergency appointment, which he got. He's on very heavy painkillers and is sleeping a lot of the time, but he's been sleeping downstairs. Um, so there's that. So I've got um, Daniel off. I luckily, um, I think I'm about managing to do things. Um, things like that. If it's anything that's sitting down where he hasn't got to move about, um, I probably will give him something to do um, if necessary. Um, but running off my list, I'm pretty much there. You've seen my upstairs um, cleaning video. I've got still got the downstairs, but um, I have got um, a few relatives and a dog coming um, on Christmas Eve. So yeah, just try to work out. I think I'll use that one. I love all these um, ribbons. I've um, got this from the charity shop. I think not 50p. And i um, been using it you know, quite a lot on the gifts. So, like I said, hopefully everybody's doing okay and getting things done. As I said, um, I'm about there. Just a few last minute, but uh, I must admit... Um, I'm not going to get into it, but I don't know what my neighbours were doing. I don't know. They've been having work doing, I know that. Um, but um, I literally, I didn't go to bed very early this morning. Um, but so I'm just before three o'clock, I don't know what I don't know in the garden. When you out to the shed, I don't know if I've got visitors or what. And... Uh, you know, made me jump because at five to three, I think they went morning. This is and out to the shed, their shed. But you must, you have to realise, and I have brought this up to them a number of times. Any banging does actually um, unnerve me because we, not recently. This is going back absolutely years, and I don't want to um, go over it too much. But I've had two break-ins. Um, one when I was away with my husband for the weekend and the second one was when he was actually in bed. So, yeah, so um, a few bits and pieces. So any banging does actually um, unnerve me because the second time I was in bed, it was like two o'clock in the morning. So you can imagine um if you can understand what I'm saying, um, I want to try and keep the peace. Daniel's off at the moment and I'm okay, but I have mentioned to my neighbours before. But if and when um, Daniel goes back to work, I will have to say something to them because he does need his sleep. But at the moment, he's just 
fallen asleep. Even my daughter mentioned yesterday because he was asleep on the lounge floor and uh, when was watching the Christmas Chronicles. Um, yeah, I, I don't know whether I was actually going to watch any Christmas videos, but I've got about six to eight DVDs I bought from the charity shop at turn, but she wanted to watch a Christmas one, which is understandable, I suppose. So that's those. So I'm just going to get my tags and add those on. And then looking at it, it's light enough then to leave to go out. So here's two tags that I actually made last night. I will probably put the rest of them in here. This is going to be last minute bits and pieces as well. I'm just clubbing it all together. And I know it's a bit of a cheek and I have messaged her, like I said about um, the letter, the pocket letter and things. But these were actually on the um, tags. These were on tags on the gifts that she sent me, um, that is. But then I've actually cut this front bit off and stuck it on another piece of card with this beautiful like um, gingerbread house um ribbon if you can see that so that's that tag and then that tag there I've done exactly the same i just put plain white on these but i will sh be sh probably sharing a few other pieces as well in this video so i'm just going to write these tags put them on the gifts write those cards i've now got stamps and because they're not um too much 3d they're a little bit these should be able to go first class normal so I don't have to get those weighed as all those cards I got weighed. There was only one I had to pay extra postage on because I, I had to weigh each one. It was just not a scale. Cash, you know, the cashier or the post woman. And then again, I did that with all of them. And then they had that plastic um like letterbox thing that they can check they go through. Although saying that I've paid extra postage, I'm not knocking the postal service, but I've made extra, uh, paid extra on cards so they're not run through the letterbox. And people have told me they have gone through the letterbox and I've had a couple where they are padded out, but they've then um, got a bit damaged. So yeah, so if they're really bulky, I then have to, it counts new enough as a parcel. I have to then wrap it in parcel paper. But these, because, like I said, they're not so far raised, 3 days so much, they should go through. So I'm going to pause my video, my filming, and get this done so I can get out. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing any more um, filming at this point because I need to get out before it gets too busy. So here's the two DVDs I said I'm not putting too much on because I've got to carry them. I know they're not heavy or anything, but normally I would have put candy canes or something on. So there's the tags. I love this paper. I'm not 100% sure, like I might mention where I got it from. I had quite a few rolls of it. Um, you know, Elf. I think it might have come from Primark. Um, I did a few years ago get a few um, sort of rolls from Primark. I'm not sure if this was one of them. So that's that. So like I said a moment ago, I'm going to get ready and um, get off and do my little bit of shopping, meet a relative. And then I've got to come home and finish um, my cleaning and also probably will add on a few bits on um, this video. As you might have noticed around my home, I've got a few little bits. I probably won't be doing a Christmas tour as I normally do, but these are little bits that I have purchased either from the charity shop or on sale and they've been in my a gift wardrobe and things like that i do have all my drinks at the moment over there a few extra drinks ready for um christmas eve although i'm not doing alcohol i haven't done alcohol in years because so many people are um driving and we normally do tea and coffee and that sort of thing so yeah right I'm nearly there, I keep saying that, so I must get on. Okay, I've got a few things that I got from b &M. This is when I went out with a friend, then we met up with a mutual friend and someone who we both worked with in the past. 
um, we met up and had a cream tea and everything. So the things that I got from b and I'm going to get this done because the pyjamas I want to pack and I want to sort of, they're for my granddaughter, I'll go back to those in a moment, but they're for her Christmas Eve box. So first of all, I'm going to start with these, um, the Slush Puppy Jelly and these are blue raspberry flavour. Um, they're probably, I don't think they are new, they've probably been around, but just haven't seen them. As you know, um, Daniel doesn't like anything to do with slush, especially the blue one. And this was £1.49 and this is for four. So that's the first item. Um, the next item I have is Matchmakers. I think most places these are one twenty-five. Um, so I just got the um, cool mint. Haven't bought a lot of chocolates and put in stockings and things like that. Although we do have two tubs of um, sort of, I think one's heroes and one celebration. So that's those, and they were one twenty-five. The next item I have is the um this is the gong it was originally three pounds down to one pound fifty um not sure if i'm going to add it to my collection it's just this white one and i don't know if you can see it's got like the um sort of flecks of silver in there like i said a lot of them um, there we are the original price was three pounds it was down to one pound fifty and i probably will <laughs> end up leaving it with my collection of gongs which i've actually left up all year so that was one pound fifty um the next thing i have got is this um chopping board and this was two pound fifty and it looks like this sort of marbly um fleck um sort of look it well it says granite but um it is sort of like a plasticky type but it seems quite um thick so it's this one two pound fifty um i might i'm gonna wash that up and i want to use that for my cheese board actually um christmas eve i've then got the um the sauce to go with that christmas um pasta um for my eldest son's um um stocking which is this one it's the pasta sauce tomato and basil i suppose this was quite expensive really and this was one pound 69 um to go with the christmas pasta i know it seems a weird one but there you go i said that previously um i've also got the moco um, and this was two pound for six sachets and it's the aero one um, i've got um, this is the golden honeycomb one um, i've got a few different like coffees and um, hot chocolate pieces and things like that for my coffee coffee station so there's those they were two pounds these i seen before well leading right up to christmas and these were originally £2.50 each. And it's these little houses. Um, they're my colour scheme, as you know. Um, but these were reduced down to £1.50 each. So I'm glad I held off. But plus, so if you've had them on my shelf or whatever, you could even take that off the um, sort of the the little uh, ribbon bit and just you could have that all year round plus it could even go on my tiered tray all through the year and i just think that is really sweet um i wouldn't actually hang those on my tray because there's a lot on it anyway but i've only got one tree up this year but i bought those for my like um, i'm gonna either put them in my kitchen or my dining room sort of that area so instead of two pound fifty they were one pound fifty each i think they only had two other ones the same and i nearly bought um all of them but it was carrying the things plus i was meeting up as i said with um, another friend 
Um, the next one I've got, and this was £1.99, it's the Paw Patrol 6 um, Plus, and this is the um, toothbrush. As you know, I always, usually, Easter time and Christmas and that sort of thing, actually put a toothbrush in for my granddaughter. And the main reason I want to get this, now this is a larger size, um, I went for these, not Christmas ones this year actually, I've gone for these because she wouldn't actually sleep in these because they're too thick, so she'd have them for lounging around. Um, she's in a sort of um, a 7 to 8, but I got, there was no 7 to 8, it jumped, it was 5 to 6. So was it six to seven? I think it was six to seven or something like that. Eight to nine. I think it might have been um, six to seven or something. I can't remember. I know it seemed to jump as she would normally have seven to eight. It doesn't matter with these because um, she can roll the sleeves up or the bottoms or whatever or just keep them up. These were seven pounds and there's the picture so these are the fleecy sort of bottoms and top which i've gone for um in another haul um i did get a few bits from tesco's i nearly bought christmas pajamas they weren't as cheap as they were um leading up to christmas last year but then um i was on panarin an but i'd already bought these so i thought i'd keep it at that moment might go back if they've still got christmas pajamas and say get the eight to nine years for next christmas i don't know but i i did say i was only gonna i wasn't gonna get christmas pajamas for her christmas eve box so that is her um pajamas i'm enclosing in the box um this year which i'm now going to go into and share what i'm actually including in her christmas eve box there's not as much as what i normally do but you must um realize i do do a christmas stocking for herself and her mum and dad plus she had a few little gifts that i wrapped up they've already gone to her home um ready for christmas morning and also she's had cash, she's had money from myself and her uncle Daniel. So um, yeah, we've, we've probably spent maybe a bit more this year than I normally do because I've mostly gave her money and um, let her parents buy something. They admitted they haven't spent it and they said they're gonna wait until the new year or whatever or see what she has for Christmas. So I'm gonna move on and I'll share what I've got in her Christmas Eve box. Okay, she's had this case now, right from when she was born. Um, and it's doing pretty well because, say, she's six now. And I got this box, actually, it was the larger one. Well, it's actually a case. And I bought this from, um, I think it was the Card Factory. Is that right? Yeah, Card Factory. So, um, as I said, there's not as much in here, but one thing I didn't actually say, I have, I bought this like, it was like a jewellery box sort of thing um, that I got from the charity shop for a pound. And I've put a lot of jewellery and hair accessories in it, which you probably will have at Christmas Eve as well. So I meant to say that's probably why there's not so much in here. If I get chance, um, I might include, include that as well. I'll have to see. So here is the box. So like I said, um, pyjamas, we've got the lounge set, as I said, that I've just um, shared in this video. Like I said, there's not an awful lot in here, not like the normal is. Normally this is full, um, but I've on a tighter budget, but I've spent more on my granddaughter than I normally do. Um, but saying that there's certain people I haven't had to buy for this year. So we have got the, um, the marshmallows and um, we've got the um, elf um, little biscuits. There's five mini packs there. I got these um, pens. These are scrummy scented markers. Smell um, scrumpalicious. 
um, that's an eight pack and they were from Poundland for a pound. And then I've got the little mini stationery set that came from Timu. And I think that was £1.57, if I remember rightly. And like I've said, rather than Poundland, I like to get this, these sort of things from um, Home Bargains because they work out cheaper. So I've got this Christmas sticker activity fun book. And that, as you can see, is 59p. And it's got lots of different things to do and stickers and things like that. Like I said, these are much more um, re reasonable than even Poundland. Then I've got the Christmas colouring book, 99p. And again, from Home Bargains, all those sort of things. Um, I just put a few things in there. Normally I would include, include a DVD, um, but the only trouble is with a lot of people, I probably still will do it and I'll do it at Easter, but um, like us, you know you subscribe to a number of different things so most things you can get on the um online anyway and also we are having a game session on christmas eve all being well so that all goes in there so just a few little bits you never know there might be something when i've um finished um doing a stocking if they don't everything doesn't fit in the stocking it will go in her um, christmas eve box so one of these times i was going to invest in a um one of those wooden ones that you can get and probably have a name put on it because this is getting old but this is done really well and as i said um since she was born i've had this one and she's now six so that is the christmas eve so I'm thinking I'm going to leave the video here. Um, I'm in the process of doing the last bit of cleaning and it's coming up to, what's that, 20 past eight. Um, so I've got still got a bit of clean to do because I want to try and get everything done before Christmas Eve. Um, I've still got the stockings to fill, but I don't. I can sit that sit on my bed and do deal with that. So that's not really um, hardship. So hopefully that I've got everything that I need. Well, it's just tough now, I think. Um, but I've still got a few little bits that I want to share, even if they do end up being a little bit late. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.